counting. T minus 50 seconds. We're transferring to orbiter internal power at this time. Discovery is now running off its three onboard fuel cells. Coming up on a go for auto sequence start in 10 seconds. And we have a go for auto sequence start. Discovery's onboard computers have primary control of all the vehicle's critical functions. T minus 22 seconds. T minus 15 seconds and counting. 10 seconds. We have a go for main engine start. Six, four, three, two, one. We have booster ignition and liftoff of the Space Shuttle Discovery lighting up the nighttime sky as we continue building the International Space Station. Space Station. Speed a thousand miles an hour, altitude one mile, down range of one and a half miles from the Kennedy Space Center already. Three good engines, starting back to two thirds of the radius to us. Passing the air at maximum dynamic pressure, not to go supersonic. Discovery. Altitude 8 miles. Speed 1700 miles an hour. Downrange 10 miles from Kennedy Space Center. A minute and a half since launch, Discovery already consumed more than two and a quarter million pounds of propellant, but now weighs Less than half that it did at liftoff. Altitude 18 miles. Speed 3,000 miles an hour. Already 22 miles northeast of Kennedy Space Center. Three good engines, three good auxiliary power units, three good fuel cells. Boost drops are confirmed. Clean separation of the two solid rockets. Discovery's three engines now powering the second stage. Discovery's orbital maneuvering system engines firing now to assist the climb into orbit. They'll fire for about a minute and 37 seconds. Discovery Houston, two engine Maroon. Two engine Maroon. That call means Discovery can perform a transatlantic oceanic land landing at Marone, Spain, if required. Three good engines, three good auxiliary power units, three good fuel cells. Speed now, 4,500 miles an hour, altitude 45 miles, downrange 78 miles from Kennedy Space Center. Five minutes remaining until main engine cutoff. Feet almost 5,000 miles an hour, altitude 53 miles, downrange 110 miles from Kennedy Space Center. Discovery Houston, negative return. Negative return. 
The call means Discovery has gained too much speed and altitude to return to the Kennedy Space Center for a landing if a problem arises. Just under four minutes until main engine cutoff. During that time, Discovery is going to triple its speed to reach the 17,400 miles an hour needed to reach Earth orbit. Three good engines, three good auxiliary power units, three good fuel cells. Altitude 6,300 miles. 63 miles. Speed 6,500 miles an hour. Downrange 207 miles from Kennedy Space Center along the eastern seaboard of the United States. Discover Houston Press to ATO Select Istris. Press to ATO Select Istris. Discovery now could reach an orbit lower than planned, but still safe on two engines. Speed 7,700 miles an hour. Altitude 67 miles. 290 miles off the eastern coast of the United States, away from Kennedy Space Center. Three good engines, three good auxiliary power units, three good fuel cells. Discovery Houston, single engine ops three. Single engine ops three. That call means that Discovery could perform a transoceanic abort landing on only one engine if required. So far, all going well. Discovery should be rolling to a heads up position now to help uh, assist its performance as it climbs into orbit and provide better communication through the tracking data relay satellite system. Discover Houston, press to Miko and single engine Istris 104. Press to Miko, single engine Istris 104. Discovery could reach its planned orbit on only two engines if required, and it could reach Istris France on just one engine. Just under two minutes to main engine cutoff. Altitude 66 miles, speed 11,000 miles an hour, already 500 miles away from Kennedy Space Center. Discovery Houston, single engine press 104. Single engine press 104. And Discovery Houston, Billy, we see a nominal shutdown plan. Copy, nominal shutdown plan, thank you. About a minute to main engine cutoff. Normal shutdown planned. Speed 14,000 miles an hour. Altitude 64 miles. Downrange 643 miles. Continue to watch live downlink television pictures from an external tank camera. Standing by for main engine cutoff. Booster officer confirms main engine cutoff. External tank separation confirmed.